the injector pump here to draw concentrate from these two tanks equal volumes goes into the reservoir to bring up the level of the fertilizer in the tank and what is being delivered to the plants. Here we've got the pH monitor. It monitors the pH in the same solution through a separate sensor. If the pH is too high, some acid solution will be pumped from this reservoir into the fertilizer reservoir. This is the reservoir that feeds the plants. There's a float valve in here and when the level of the fertilizer solution in the reservoir drops, water comes into the reservoir. When water comes in, that thins down the fertilizer solution and it will probably raise the pH and that will start the controller acting like we talked about a few moments ago. Periodically the reservoir will be pumped out and refilled. Of course the same procedure will be used when the reservoir is first filled. After we have pumped the reservoir out and cleaned it out, we will put water halfway up in the reservoir before we hook up and turn on this circulating pump and the patroller. Because if we just have a small amount in the reservoir and try and have the automatic patroller adjust that, it will be jumping all over the place. So we need to get the reservoir half full, then we can put it on automatic. And it will adjust and add as needed according to the target that we have set in the electrical conductivity and in the pH. Before this reservoir was buried, it looked like this. Once it's in the ground, and we put it in the ground for a couple of reasons, the nutrient solution will flow back here by gravity, and we don't want to be stepping over return lines, so if we can put those underground and run everything back here into our dark location, then there's not going to be algae growing in the reservoir. The cap have a black lid, again, keeping out light, minimizing algae growth down in the reservoir. We especially want to thank Richard Sandquist for the use of his greenhouse, crops, and location for the shooting of the major part of this video and CD.